Hi, my name is Karthik Rangappa. In this video, let's understand margins for options trading. In this video, let's talk about the margins applicable for options trading. When you buy an option, you simply pay a premium. The premium payable is equal to the lot size into the premium into the number of lots that you intend to buy. Quite straightforward. Option selling on the other hand requires a margin deposit from your end. The margins work just like the way the margins work for the futures. Of course, there is no concept of mark to market in options. Margins are blocked at the time you sell an option and the margins are released when you square off your position. The margins charged is a function of risk. Higher the risk, higher the margin charged. Lower the risk, lower is the margins charged. You can extend this. When the volatility increases, remember volatility is also a measure of risk. When the volatility increases, the margin requirements also increases. Let me demonstrate a simple exercise. I'll log into my trading account and try and find out what is the margin requirement to buy one lot of HDFC bank futures. As you can see, my portfolio right now contains just one instrument, that is the HDFC bank October futures. The margin required here is 1,61,000. I want you to think about this for a minute. Why do you think the margins are so high? Well, there is an immense amount of directional risk to my portfolio. If the stock price of HDFC Bank were to decline, then my portfolio would bleed and therefore I would lose a ton of money. If I lose money, there is a risk to my broker as well. Therefore, to cover for the risk, there is a high margin being levied. Technically speaking, if I were to do something and reduce the overall risk in my portfolio, then the margin requirement should also get lower. So now let me try adding another instrument in my portfolio. Now my portfolio contains a put option of HDFC Bank. Now if you take a minute to understand the portfolio dynamics, on one hand I have HDFC Bank futures on which I'm long. Therefore I will lose money if the stock price of HDFC Bank decreases. But I've also hedged this position by buying a put option. Remember, when the stock price falls, a put option makes money. So all the money that I would lose in futures will be offset by gains in my put option. On the other hand, if the stock price of HDFC Bank were to increase, then I'll obviously make money on my long futures, but on the put side, I wouldn't lose much money. And why is that? Remember, when I buy an option, the maximum money that I will lose is to the extent of the premium that I've paid. So overall, the risk of my portfolio is now vastly reduced. Now, if the risk of my portfolio has reduced, the margins charge should also reduce. And that's exactly what you see here. The overall margin requirement right now is just 57,000. So when you think about margins, don't isolate your positions and look at the margins applicable for that one instrument only. Look at the margins from an entire portfolio perspective. The lesser the risk of your portfolio, the lesser is the margin requirement. Higher the risk of your portfolio, higher is the margin requirement. As an option seller, whenever you sell an option, try and hedge that option in such a way that the overall risk of your portfolio is reduced. Therefore, the margin requirement from you will also be lower. By the way, this technique of trading where you have multiple legs of option position is called option strategies or option spreads. We will discuss more about that in the subsequent videos. But just to get you excited, most professional traders do not trade naked options. They usually prefer to trade a spread. Key takeaways from this video are, 